now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genobaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 25, 2020 Matthew 5 verses 17 to 19 Verse 17 Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 18 For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Till heaven and earth pass, said Jesus, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Matthew 5 verse 18 By his own obedience to the law, Christ testified to its immutable character and proved that through his grace it could be perfectly obeyed by every son and daughter of Adam. Because the law of the Lord is perfect, and therefore changeless, it is impossible for sinful men, in themselves, to meet the standard of its requirement. This was why Jesus came as our Redeemer. It was his mission, by making men partakers of the divine nature, to bring them into harmony with the principles of the law of heaven. When we forsake our sins and receive Christ as our Savior, the law is exalted. The Apostle Paul asks, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. Romans 3 verse 31 The new covenant promise is, I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them, Hebrews 10 verse 16. While the system of types which pointed to Christ as the Lamb of God that should take away the sin of the world was to pass away at his death, the principles of righteousness embodied in the Decalogue are as immutable as the eternal throne. Not one command has been annulled, not a jot or title has been changed. Those principles that were made known to man in paradise as the great law of life will exist unchanged in paradise restored. When Eden shall bloom on earth again, God's law of love will be obeyed by all beneath the sun. by Ellen G. White. Mount of Blessings, pages 49 to 51.